We look at the proverbial crabs in a barrel. The crabs are trying to get up. But another crab is pulling the crab down. Well, just suppose somebody is at the top of the barrel looking at the crab. Watching the drama yeah. of the crabs. And suppose he or she says, Come, let us deal wisely with those crabs. Let's take a view out of the barrel and put them at the top of the barrel and let them look back down on the other struggling crabs. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. If we do that, it will give the other crabs the notion that they too can get out. But the crab that's at the top of the barrel didn't get out because of his own talent and ability alone. The crab got out because the master took him out and allowed him out for the master's purpose. Now let's look at the wealthy and the famous among us. No, 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 I, I, I'm not here to knock our wealthy and our famous. I love them. But I want us to look at them. And I want them to look at themselves. Now, if we look at the Oprahs, the Cosbys, the Jay-Zs, Kimora, Lee Simmons, and the Fab Lane, and, and all of our beautiful sports and entertainment figures that are now multi-millionaires, every one of these have good hearts, and every one of these are trying to do some good to give back to their communities. And that is an effort that we must applaud. <laughs> but, sorry about that. <laughs> the man that owns the barrel could have pulled all the crabs out. But he gave only a few a doorway out so they could sell to the others the lie that they too can get out. And they have become a buffer between the angry black masses and white people of power and influence that got us looking at our own rich as though they betrayed us when the wise demons behind them have used them as a buffer to protect them from the anger of the wise or the poor white, the poor black, the poor brown. Now, see now those that are really rich, they can't get the other crabs out. Listen, listen. And unfortunately, most are afraid. That's right. To even attempt 
to get the other crabs out. They want in with the barrel owners because their comfort level is not in the barrel but their comfort level is with those who took them out so they don't have the strength to say come out of her because they're too deep in they can't say come out of the world and let's be with Christ I mean really say it of course they can say it everybody is saying Jesus this is the end thing it's big business to preach Jesus But it won't be big business to live Jesus. If you take the courage to tell the people, come out. You can be in it, but let's not be of it. Come out. A white author and political scientist, his name is Dr. Andrew Hacker talked about this very same phenomenon he wrote quote we have a black middle class but it only exists at the sufferance of white America so I looked up the word sufferance I just wanted to be sure that I understood what he was saying. He said it means patient endurance, especially of pain and distress. So, he said, we have a middle class, but it only exists out of our patience, our endurance, especially of the pain and distress at watching our former slaves strut they stuff Go ahead, <laughs> riding the best that we make living in the fine homes that we built and some white folks say how in the world could they have these things and I can't have nothing okay, like that that's right, that's right. He goes on to say, quote, we decide how many of you will be allowed and in into which positions. And we decide how many of you is too many. And we pick Cosby, we pick Powell, we do that and we are careful about the numbers in court. I didn't say it. That's right. So the chosen crabs <laughs> owe some allegiance to the one who picked them out from the rest. And they make obeisance to the hand that took you out of the barrel and that is why you can never be an effective spokesperson for the hurt of your people never never can you go far enough because if you displease the crab barrel master you are afraid that he might put you back in the barrel and don't pluck you out again. But God took me out of the battle. I don't owe nothing to no master. I owe it all to God. And God will take 
take us all out of the battle. And he will never take one out and not show the others that he can get them out too.